Hi everyone, uh, today we'll be discussing on Grey's Anatomy Season 2 Episode 19 Title What, what is the title? Uh? How many? <laughs> I'm not sure <laughs> What have I done to deserve this? Mm. Alright So um, today um, with me Aoni, we, we're going to discuss what happened in this episode and our comments in regards to this episode So just a recap uh, for the first time in the show's brief history, the story begins with a voiceover by George. Yes. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I, I use brief history because we only watch until this episode, although mm -hmm. that's until season 13. But mm -hmm. we only started this uh, series uh, in, uh, in 2021. Yes. So um, most of the time, the voiceover is by Meredith. But today, it's by George. Uh, uh, side character, right? Yeah. Yes, and it's quite interesting, but I think it's. I think it's it's more um, fun with George as the narrator. What what is it? I think it's more fun with George as the narrator. Yeah. All right. But yeah, I think because why they choose George because this is like dedicate this episode is de de dedicated for him. It's about yes. him choosing his path, him mm -hmm. um, realizing certain. Um, certain certain things in his life. Yes, I think the, the, yeah. the main in today's episode is definitely George and his story. Yeah. And um okay, before that we just um uh, recap on what happened. Um so there's how many patients in this episode? Um three as per usual. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um the first one is the boy who got hit on his um head and has yeah. I can't remember the thing, but he has some blood bleeding in his brain. Mm. And then secondly, we uh, meet again a character that we've met in a previous episode, which is Denny, who is yeah. a patient, um, who is a, what do you call that? A heart, heart, heart Surgery. Something. He, uh, a he needs a heart that, transplant, yeah, I think. A, a patient that needs a heart, tra a heart transplant. And then the we see this man who also has oh no no he has something in his heart yeah right i'm not sure yeah. what is it i think i think one uh, of the main the, patient the, in what, this episode his artery could burst yeah i i think one of the main patient in this episode is that man because there's a certain conflict between mm. him and his um his soon to be wife mm. where his soon to be yeah, wife so. left him because could not take it. He cannot cope with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, realization that he maybe would survive the surgery, right? Mm, because they, they were about to get married, and then um, even in the beginning, when the man found out that he had this disease, the soon-to-be wife was like, "Oh no, the wedding, the wedding," and then yeah, not really thinking about the man, right? Yeah, and then we so see the I, other patient, like the boy, who is also going through um the bleeding in his brain, and then he has his parents who were really concerned about him. So I think we we saw these different people and different support system, right? Mm, yeah, I think we we should go to the main um main issue main narrative in this episode that is mm -hmm. the relationship between Meredith and. George and mm. by 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 based on that relationship, what mm. the effects of that relationship towards the the interns, right? Mm -hmm. wait, wait, so, you didn't you didn't mention the theme. Oh, the theme is regret. Like the theme is regret. Everyone has their regret. Um, I think George, to a certain extent, maybe regret that he tried to get along with Meredith. I think to a certain extent, he regretted it, right? Mm, I feel like the, the theme is, um, one of the other theme is karma. They talk oh yeah, karma. A lot but about I, I, karma. I, I, I don't understand the, the karma theme in this episode. Yeah. Because to me, karma is 50-50. What you get, what you give what is what you get. Yeah. But, then but I, I understand. But what I understand when, when George talked about karma is that initially he's like, or um, some people 
get what they don't deserve. The good people get all this suffering and the bad people um, end up good in this world. But then at the end, we see that um, he talked to the girl that he once had a relationship with and then he apologized if he ever made her feel how he feels at this moment, right? So yeah. I think that was um, one part of that karma theme in today's episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, let's talk about the impact of the relationship. So mm-hmm. uh, just to highlight that George did slap with Meredith mm-hmm. but during the intimacy, Meredith cried and George... It, it doesn't... Be, uh, uh, it, George doesn't feel like it's supposed to be that, right? Yeah. Just George, George was into it while Meredith is not into it, and yeah, like I like like I say, they the the story make makes them makes the both of the characters looks incomfortable, right? Incompatible. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's a good thing for George to have this closure. It's mm-hmm. a good thing for me that uh, George realized that he that he he maybe he likes Meredith, but he 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 need to move on. Yeah, but I think the 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 manner that he arrived to this decision is quite harsh on him, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and everybody knows that he slept with Meredith, but yeah. So how do you feel about how mm-hmm. George um, moving on, like moving on from Meredith? Yeah, I feel like I have so many conflicting feelings right now, but this episode really affected me emotionally, mostly because I felt really sad on how um, Meredith reacted to George, George's confession to her. Because we've seen that George liked Meredith from the very first episode. And yeah. um, we've we've seen that feeling built up throughout the episode up until um, this current episode. And then um, Meredith's reaction to his confession was really, I don't know, to me very insensitive. And then what I really don't like about this episode is even though she knew and she realized that she was insensitive about it but she didn't feel the need to apologize or to um explain that there was a bit of an explanation but i really think it was just her trying to justify what she did and then at the end we still see meredith as this person who is oh okay gets away with everything get it while george suffers from that and the consequences we see George move out from the apartment and their relationship, even their friendship turned sour. Right? Yeah, uh, but at the end of the episode, did, did George decide to leave the hospital or... I don't think so. He... he wouldn't leave the hospital. It's just that he left the but house. But he was... He, yeah, he was at the hospital with the bag. Yeah. And I, I was thinking like, oh, he would like to leave the program. Oh, Maybe. I don't think so. Yeah, I mm. don't think so. Yeah, I think it's a good thing that Bert take him in. Yeah, yeah. Bert's I think really it's a. Nice. I think it's a um good thing that they, um decided, um in in this episode for to this to rediscover the relationship between Melly and Meredith and to put an end towards this or Melly's, um um interest towards Meredith. But I feel like yeah. it was really cruel on the part of Meredith. Yeah, because, I think but in no, this because, episode... Because in a way, definitely she knew that George had feelings for her from the beginning. And then she knew that he was her friend. And she jeopardized that relationship. And she can't even explain why or apologize for her actions. Get it? Mm, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's a good thing that George left the house. Yeah, at least, at least just, there is a yeah. closure to that relationship. Lah. Yeah, I but. think that's... Uh, I th- but I don't know what's going to happen in the next episode. To me, 
um, George and Meredith could no longer be friends to me. My prediction is that, okay, maybe for a while, but then they will start to forgive and forget. And like I said, yeah. in the end of the day, I mean, at the end of the day, Meredith would still be looked up as this, oh, so good character who has yeah. no flaws. But but in this episode, uh, I think many would side with George rather than Meredith. Yeah. So I think it's a bold decision by the producer or, or the writers in this episode to portray Meredith in the manner that they portrayed in this episode where we are siding George in this episode. A bit. Well, but you know, the, the, the justification that Meredith gave such as that, oh, she was sad and she didn't she didn't know until she yeah, knew she, she, she No, no, no. Um, no, no. Because um, George know that Meredith has been sleeping with a lot of guys because of his, because of she being sad. And she just, and to, to, to her, George is just another guy. No, right. I mean, if she cared about George as her friend, she shouldn't have thought, oh, George is another guy, get it? Yeah. And like uh, Christina said, George is the weaker person. She, I mean, he's more vulnerable. She shouldn't have yeah. done that. Even though she was sad. Yeah. And then they're not sad apa. Tak habis sad, Derek, Derek, Derek. Tu dah kenapa? Calm down. Okay, relax. Yeah, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> okay. So, I think we need to conclude. Dia tak I think, ada, um, no, dia tak me, ada any real problem other than, oh, I can't have Derek. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down, calm down. Because he is calm somebody's down. husband. What? Okay, calm down. Okay, so I think today we need to... I think we conclude that George... Um, it's a good thing that George move on. Uh, George... I think George is over Meredith, I believe. And I think that's a good thing. And then... Um, in terms of Meredith, I don't know why, what happened in the ending. Mm. They, I think the story is just like to feel, to like to give us certain anticipation for mm. us to anticipate that maybe Derek and Meredith would get back together. Of course but they think, would. Yeah, okay, but I think um, the relationship but then it doesn't, between... But it doesn't make sense because uh, uh, in the scene before that, we saw Derek and Derek the wife. Derek and the wife, yeah. Um, starting to much um, get better like each other, yeah. and like each other back. But then Derek yeah. ends up with Meredith. Why? No, it's no not reasoning. ends up. They just go for a walk. Yeah, why? Doesn't make sense. Yeah lah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What? So, so, so the ending is just, no, it's just to build, uh, build our curiosity towards the Yeah, but I still think it doesn't make sense with the previous way things yeah. worked in the previous yeah. scenes. But macam, um, personally, macam at the end, we, like, oh, Meredith still has to have her little happy ending to faham tak? Okay, alright, faham. But okay, in this, in this episode, especially um, um, based on, the, I think the main character in this episode is George. And I think it's a good thing that George move on and George found a new girl. Mm-hmm. The, the moment that George is over Meredith, then the doors mm-hmm. open up, mm-hmm. like meeting doctor in uh, um, um, where he uh, found treatment for his shoulder dislocation right yeah yeah oh yeah and then I another, think, yeah, that... another part of this episode is we get to look at uh, Izzy and Alex relationship in the beginning we can see that they you know they, they're starting to have a relationship but then because with the um, appearance of Danny yeah Izzy seems to be, you know, not totally committed to Alex. But we don't know. Yeah, alright. Okay, so that's about it for today. Uh, season 2, episode 19. Um, for for those listeners, we are just watching Grey's Anatomy. We, we have a long way to go. Grey's Anatomy have 13 seasons. And yeah, I think it's going to be hard. It's going to be really hard to follow this series because Aoni is having <laughs> an issue with the main character. No, I don't have okay. an issue with okay, the main right. character. Thank, the thank main you for character listening. has issues. Huh? Okay, alright. Okay. <laughs> Say goodbye. Okay. Okay, bye.